Hello and welcome to Science Never Stops. I'm your host, Joseph Vick, with the U.S. Space and Rocket Center. And today's topic is the four forces of flight. How an airplane flies and operates in the air. So, to learn this, we need to talk a little bit about Bernoulli's principle. And I have a diagram here that we're going to use this diagram to create our own airplane with the lift this diagram explains to us. Now, this happens to be an airfoil, which is the scientific name for a wing. And in the science of aerodynamics, which is the science of describing how things fly through a liquid, uh, and air is a liquid in the science of aerodynamics. So air is the liquid that this plane or this wing section, airfoil section, is going to be flying or cutting through. So notice you have the air flow over and under the wing. As the air hits the wing, it goes over and under, and then throughout the back as it is flying. Now, the airplane wing design is designed so that when the air moves over the top of the wing, the air is moving faster over the top of the wing than it is over the bottom of the wing by design. So you have a greater distance to travel over the top of the wing with air movement, but the air is moving faster over a greater distance over the top, whereas on the bottom, the airflow is moving slower along the bottom, but at a shorter distance, which with that air movement, with this shorter airflow distance on the bottom, you have a high pressure area. And it's that high pressure that forms from this air moving slower, yet over less distance across the bottom, creating a lift of that wing upward. And it's that lift upward with the differences in high pressure at the base of the wing and the low pressure at the top that that high pressure at the base allows the wing and the aircraft to lift upward with that flow of airflow over and under the wing. That is Bernoulli's principle, but seeing this on a piece of paper is one thing, but making an aircraft with this piece of paper and flying it, flying and seeing is part of our experiment process. So let's build an airplane. So first, we're going to need to fold it in half, long ways are what I like to call hot dog fold along the vertical line, there along the vertical line, and then we're going to open it back up and then take each corner and fold inward toward the middle evenly along that creased line that you made when you folded it first. Now this aircraft that we're making is called the Classic Dart, where it will dart through the air as it flies. So now we've made it and it looks sort of like a house of sorts in shape. Next what you'll want to do is, just like we did before, but a little bit further in, we're going to bend inward and down on both sides, creating the wing profiles. So fold those down, make sure you have some clean lines when you fold, and crease that downward on both sides, bringing it into the middle. And with that, you can see it's starting to have its clean airplane shape. Once you have that, fold it back in half inward with your folds. Make any necessary creases along the body of your aircraft. Now we're going to need to fold downward and crease our wings on each side. So fold down until you get to the hold flap there at the base. So notice I folded down so it was even with that base. And do the same with an equal fold on the other side. 
and crease. So this is your classic dart aircraft made with the Bernoulli's principal diagram that we did with the two airfoils, one on this side, one on that, and the body of the aircraft. I made one earlier to show in detail as a plane is flying, it encounters four forces of flight on the entire aircraft the whole time that it is flying. And these are the four major forces that are acting on the aircraft the whole time. Uh, we discussed with the airfoils lift, so you have the process of lift keeping the aircraft in its constant state of flying motion. Also on a craft, you have the forward thrust on this jet engine by the jet engines that are powering it and thrusting it forward. So you have the positive thrust forward and the positive lift action of the aircraft in flight. But you have negative forces acting against that equally as well. So you have uh, lift going up. The opposite of lift is gravity pulling down. With the design of any aircraft, you want it to be as light as possible with the best alloy metal so it's not heavy. The lighter the aircraft, the more potential lift and cargo that it can hold or lift upward. You do not want lift and gravity to be equal because it won't lift. You want your gravity force to be less than your lift force. And you also have with your forward thrusting action our forward thrust force, uh, you have the opposite drag. So drag is wind resistance. So as the craft is flying through the air, you have the air flowing over it. But all craft are designed aerodynamically to be resistant to drag as much as possible so that we can have the less or the most or the least amount of drag resistance so that the craft will fly smoothly and thrust forward. Now, on our airplanes, we have this, and I went through and labeled it, and I encourage you to label it on your aircraft, on your paper airplane that we made together, is to draw these out. So in the very front, I have thrust with an arrow pointing toward the tip, the nose of our plane. I have on the wings, I have lift, lift, lifting our aircraft. On the very back, near uh, our, sort of if you had a vertical stabilizer in the very back of our airfoils, drag is that wind resistance is going over our aircraft. And at the base, I have gravity pulling downward toward the center of the earth. So now that we have made our aircraft, now it's time to test fly our aircraft. Now this has no engine on it, so it would be a glider. So this would be very similar to the Wright Brothers Wright Flyer. Uh, so ours is non-engine powered. So the Wright Brothers flew their plane, made history, but there was also history made in Alabama where you had the William Lafayette quick plane which was the first monoplane flown in the state of Alabama in Newmarket, Alabama in 1908. So we have here, let's get ready, let's go out and let's fly our planes. Mm -hmm.